U.S.-based NGO Human Rights Watch has released a scathing report on China. This after the organization Global Head Kenneth Roth was barred from entering Hong Kong. The report threatens to overshadow the newly signed trade deal. Roth was expected to unveil the Global Human Rights Report in Hong Kong, but was stopped from doing so. This as the report features China predominantly. Now it's, uh, it is called the mass detention of Uyghur Muslims in the Xinjiang region as China's worst oppression. Hong Kong's limited freedoms are severely challenged, and for the Uyghurs and other Turkic Muslims of Xinjiang, Beijing has built the most intrusive system of surveillance that we've ever seen, and coupled it with the largest case of mass arbitrary detention in decades. Now, these are troubling trends, and to avoid criticism of them, the Chinese government is trying with increasing ferocity to use its economic and diplomatic clout to silence critical voices abroad and to undermine global institutions that protect human rights. The Human Rights Watch also said that China cracked down on protesters in Hong Kong as it feared democracy. Now they called on the world community to condemn China's actions, saying that Beijing is using its, econo its economic clout to conceal human rights abuses at home. Why did Beijing put forth this preposterous explanation for barring me? Um, I think the reason is that the Chinese government is terrified of admitting this genuine desire for democracy on territory that they rule. Because if they admit that this is um, an indigenous and natural, a spontaneous desire, rather than what they claim it's a foreign imposition, it's Human Rights Watch inciting people, then what's happening in Hong Kong might spread to the mainland. And that's really the big fear. Because the Chinese government depends on repression at home to stay in power, it sees human rights as an existential threat. But its reaction to that is increasingly posing an existential threat to the global system for the defense of human rights. Meanwhile, China rejected the allegations and instead accused the Human Rights Watch of inciting violence in Hong Kong. Jelo 对当前香港的乱局负有重大责任，这些组织理应受到制裁，也必须付出应有的。